Hi guys, this is my first video focusing on my Peel Poly Moai 3D printer. I'm going to show you how to install a heater, thermostat, and fan combo. My prints have been really nice when I print during the day, but at night, when the temperature falls to about 45 degrees, I'm having a lot of delamination problems, curing problems. The resin needs to be at 77 degrees for optimum performance, so I decided that I needed to install a heater. The guys on the forums and on the Moai owner's Facebook page have been really helpful during my build and setup, and I wanted to give a little bit back to the community with this video tutorial. This is the dust protection case and also the security case I built for the Moai. It locks independently, and what I was doing before to keep the resin a little bit warmer is I had a little heater installed right here in this corner. Um, probably not very power efficient and I didn't need to heat the entire cabinet but it's nice that this thing closes up keeps it warm inside but I wanted to go with something a little more efficient which is why I am in installing this incubator kit power comes out here in the corner so I'll be able to run the power right through that here is the incubator warehouse unit this is the mini heater version so here is the brain and guts of the machine this is the heater fan and thermostat and little control panel. The kit comes with a DC, a 12 volt DC power converter. This can run on 110 voltage or 220. There's no wiring necessary except plugging it in. This is your jack that goes onto the side of that unit. This also has a jack for a DC motor. So you can put on a, uh, a slave DC motor. I'm not sure how that could be useful, except I'm sure one of the DIYers will find a way to put that to use. So what I'm going to do is mount it with magnets to the back corner, probably about midway up, probably about right here like this, just with magnets. I've noticed, having run this and played with it for a little bit, that the hot airflow forces out towards the screen. So when if it's mounted inside of, that's hard to see because it's so black, but if it's mounted inside the unit, that hot airflow is coming out. I want direct heat, so I want the warm air to be blowing out onto my vat to keep that resin warm. Customizing this guy, you've got a lot of different controls here. Mostly you're concerned about setting the temperature. So right now I have this at Celsius. You can also switch this to Fahrenheit. So it's at 26.5 Celsius. Um, optimal performance I believe is between 25 and 30. So that's fine there. Uh, to change that you would hit the inner button I think for three seconds. You change that. You can toggle back over to temperature and then hit that again. Hit the inner button again and then you can go up temperature, down temperature. So let's set this at, I don't know, let's just make this 27.5 Celsius. Enter and it's that easy. So here we go. Uh, I'm going to be using these little earth magnets, these tiny little guys. I'm going to probably use some epoxy to get four magnets in that corner. The instructions come with a template. So I'm going to cut this out, drill a few holes in that, get it placed inside the machine, figure out my placements for the magnets. I'll drill a little hole here on the side panel to let the power cable come out. Also, there's plenty of clearance for this unit to sit on this back wall. Plenty of room for the uh, your build plate to rise up and down. Also, plenty of room if you wanted to mount this on to the side panel, either side. There's more than ample space for that build plate movement. Here I have the machine laying on its back. I'm protecting the optics. Just want to make sure no dust or debris gets on that. No fingerprints. So keep that covered up. I've got my heater, fan, thermostat, kind of just, it's not set in place yet, but I've got it sitting there and I've got a hole corresponding to the power. I have this about five and three quarters down from the top and about an inch and a half up. And I know it's pretty dark to see, but that matches up to where the power inlet is for this unit. So 
So I'm going to go ahead and take this cover, put it somewhere, and I'm going to take a pen, mark off the top that unit, and it's pretty much flush up against that edge. I'm going to put my paper template, and I, I used a, a little hole punch to uh, make little holes for me. And I'll again use my pen to mark off my locations for the opposite sides of the magnets. And then that will be mountable. Here you can see I already epoxied four of the magnets. So I'm going to epoxy four of the opposite magnets onto the back side of the Moai. Make sure that you get the polarity correct. What I like to do is make a little sharpie mark on the facing magnets so that you don't get polarities incorrect. This is the unit's temperature probe. You've got about 18 inches of probe. It's wound around the fan. I'm not sure what to do with this really. I think I'm just going to leave it wound around the fan and just aim the probe down. It's not entirely pretty, but there are my four corresponding magnets. If anyone's wondering what kind of adhesive I'm using, it's just this Home Depot Loctite 5-Minute Epoxy. Okay, even though this is 5-Minute Epoxy, I'd like to give this about 45 minutes to set. I've got my sensor probe aiming downwards. And pop that right in there. Power cord feeds through the hole. Here's the unit installed. Here's the power cable coming out of the side. It's running behind down to that corner I showed you earlier of my case. And this LCD screen is bright enough to read with a closed cover. It is noticeably warmer in here. I can easily come in here and access the control panel to change the temperatures. And the resin is so much less viscous than it was. Pretty excited. I can print at night now. So there is a tutorial video for installing the incubator kit, uh, the heater, fan, and thermostat all in one. Easy control panel for settings. And let me cycle this machine on so I can show you the clearance. So as you can see, there's plenty of room for that movement of the build plate. And everything looks great. Can't wait to try this. I hope you found this tutorial useful. I've been experimenting with PDMS layer replacement. So if you'd like to see something like that, subscribe and leave a comment for me. Thanks for watching.